Hi guys, I'm Susan and welcome to episode one of Fresh Takes and Mistakes. This is going to be a vlog where we discuss weight loss, fitness, and all the messy mind stuff in between. Now for those of you who know me, you know a little bit about my journey in the last year and a half where I've lost about 95 pounds. What most of you don't know about me is where that journey started and I think it only appropriate to start this vlog off talking about that. Now in 2018, in December, I had decided that at the beginning of the year in 2019, I was gonna recommit myself to my weight loss journey and to my fitness journey. I had already decided, I knew that January 1 was when that was gonna start. But in December, we had a trip planned to Disney. So in Disney, we ate everything. I mean, they have amazing food. If you've ever been to Disney, you know that the restaurants are phenomenal and the meal plan is amazing. And we got the craziest meal plan with all of the options. But that's no drag on Disney whatsoever. Disney is fantastic and their food is wonderful. I may have overindulged quite a bit there. On the way home, we got boarding group A on the plane and we were planning on sitting in the emergency exit row, which as you guys know, has a ton of extra leg room. We had even managed in the emergency exit row to get two seat, well, it was a three seater, but we got um, two seats filled and nobody sat down with us. So we were gonna have the whole row to ourselves, which was awesome. Um, but on the way in, I did ask the flight attendant if I could have a seatbelt extender to which they replied they would bring it to me at my seat. And that was fine. So we went and sat down, uh, waited for everybody to get boarded. And then of course they went into their whole spew on the emergency exit row and what could and couldn't be done there. Um, and of course, you know, you need to be over the age of, I think it was 18 or something like that. Um, you can't be disabled, all that fun stuff. You need to be able to, able and willing to help. So and that was fine. We, we knew what we signed up for. We were good with that. So the flight attendant comes by ready to hand me my seatbelt extender and she stops and she hesitates. And when she hesitated, she had to go back and ask somebody for help. And at that time, she confirmed what she believed, which was that if you need a seatbelt extender, you cannot sit in the emergency exit row of a plane. Now at the time, as I'm sure you all are right now, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with this rule, I was outraged. <laughs> um, and I couldn't believe it. I mean, why wouldn't I be able to sit in the emergency exit row? I was 28. Yeah, I might be 330 pounds, but I could do anything that somebody that was 200 or, or 150 pounds could do. I could do anything. I just walked all of Disney. I will say I struggled a little bit walking all of Disney, but that's neither here nor there. I mean, at 30, 330 pounds, you kind of expect that. Point is, I could do anything somebody at 150 pounds could do, and I was outraged. And of course, there really wasn't anything they could have told me, uh, and I will tell you why you can't sit in the emergency exit row, um, but there was nothing that they could have told me that would have made me feel better. Uh, now, now I know that the reason you can't sit in the emergency exit row with a seatbelt extender is because the seatbelt extender creates a tripping hazard. It has nothing to do with me, but the whole ride home, that did not matter. I was convinced that I couldn't sit in the emergency exit row because the world believed that at 330 pounds, I couldn't do something that a 150 pound person could do. However, during that ride home, I did, I did have a little talk with myself, be it through tears. Um, but nobody had put me in this position. Nobody had made this happen to me. This wasn't the world's fault. This was my fault. I had become 330 pounds. It wasn't anybody else. And even though I had already decided, even though I knew that my journey was gonna start on January 1st and that I was going to get to a point where I could do anything, that just kind of instilled in me that I couldn't do anything that I wanted to do. I could do some things, but I couldn't do anything I wanted to do at 330 pounds. And that made me unhappy. It made me sad. And at that moment, it made me devastated and embarrassed and heartbroken. And you know what? Sometimes those are good things. Now, I don't wish that feeling on anybody. I hope that nobody has to go through that. And I, I don't think that you do have to go through that in order to decide to change your life. I don't think that you need some major huge event to happen to you to traumatize you or whatever the case may be in order to decide to change your life in whatever way you want to change your life. Not necessarily for weight loss, but for health, for your finances, for your education, for whatever the case may be. You don't need a big traumatic event, but in my case, it certainly helped. Now, I thought it only appropriate to start this blog with where my journey started. However, I do want you guys to know that when I'm doing this, I'm going to talk about all kinds of things. 
a lot of you have been reaching out and asking me questions about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And I want you to know that I am completely transparent. I will answer any questions you have. Uh, you're going to see the good, the bad, and the ugly on here. And, and I'm not ashamed of it because it's put me where I am and it's going to get me where I want to be. The answer is no, I'm not where I want to be yet, but I don't think we ever are. I don't think that we ever get 100% where we want to be because why would you stop improving? And, you know, when I'm where I want to be on my fitness and my health and my weight, then I'll have other goals. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you enjoy future vlogs. And, and my hope is just to be able to help and inspire and motivate and be here for anybody who needs it uh, in whatever journey you guys are on. So thank you for joining me on mine. If you do have any suggestions or questions or topics that you want discussed, please comment, message me, reach out in whatever way you can because I am interested in what you are interested in and I am happy to tell you anything you want to know about it. My journey won't always be the same as yours and not everything I'm going to tell you is going to work for you, but maybe some of it will. Thanks. I'll see you guys again soon.